what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this video we're gonna do another photoshop tutorial this is gonna be all about the color panel we're gonna keep going with all the panels before we get into it if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit that like button especially if these videos help you out also comment down below if you got any questions and with that let's get right into the color panel so basically what this does is it displays the color values for the current foreground and background colors and it lets you choose new ones. You can also change the way the colors are displayed. While the color panel is a color picker, the swatches panel is different because it's a collection of already saved colors. So first, if you guys don't see the color panel anywhere, what you're going to want to do is come up here in the window. And then you're going to go down to color and you'll click it and it should pop up. So first you might get this look, but it might look different for you. If you want to change it or look at the other ways, you can click this hamburger menu. And then these are all the different options you got. And we're going to go through all of these. So we're going to start off with hue cube. And this is more than likely what you're going to have on by default. You can see here in the corner, this is our foreground and our background color. If you click one, you can set that color. So if I want this color to be like a blue, and then the background to be like a green, right? That's your foreground and background. If you see this little warning pop up, that means that it's out of gamut for printing. So you can click on this and it'll automatically move to a color that works for printing. If you look over here in the left in your tools panel, it's got your foreground and background color here also. And if you want to switch them, you can hit this and it'll just flip flop them. And then this will bring it back to default black and white. And you can flip these also. So you slide this first find the section of colors that you want and then you can come in here and pick how bright it is how much white's added to that color or how much black next we got the brightness cube and it's the same basic idea right you got your foreground background here you can choose a color like this and here on the right in the slider brighten it up or darken it up then we got the color wheel and this is one of my favorites to use the outside color you can pick your main color and then come in the middle and pick the shade up here is the hue saturation and brightness sliders this automatically moves when you pick new colors or you can actually move this itself and then it's got the values here on the right hand side if you need those. This one you got the slider at the top. You can change how much black or white's in it. Then we got RGB sliders. If you want to change a color you can double click on that. And then you got the regular color picker. Choose a color, click OK. Then you can come back and mess with the RGB. All right, next we got HSB, and this is hue, saturation, and brightness. CMYK sliders. This stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Then you got lab sliders. All right, same basic idea for all these. And then last is web color sliders. And like I said, most of these got the values here on the right. So if you ever need to type in a value, to get your color and for a program you're working on or whatever they'll be right here the hue cube is probably one of the easiest to use because you just choose your basic color on the right like say we want like a green and then you just look and then you got all these different shades next you can copy the color as a html or you can copy the colors hex code then after that, we got the RGB spectrum. 
this is just another way to visualize the colors. You got the HSB sliders right here, hue, saturation, brightness, CMYK spectrum, grayscale ramp. It really doesn't matter what color it's on because the saturation is all the way down. That means there's no color. So now you're just messing with the brightness, how dark or light it is. And then you can come in here and choose a specific tone. Then you got current colors. That's just whatever's loaded into your foreground background. After that, you got the make ramp web save. When you click this, it just makes colors that are okay for the web. Then last but not least, obviously you can close the panel or close the whole tab group. I never do that because then I'd have to go back up to window, click color again, so I don't even mess with those two. So that does it for the color panel, guys. Again, if you got any questions or comments, put them down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.